So what exactly caused the Terra Luna crash and what is gonna happen with Do Kwan after this incident? Find out in today's episode guys. What is up guys welcome back to your daily source of news on all things crypto and make sure you stay till the end for my Terra Luna price prediction. In today's news Terra Luna is sitting at 13.38 down 4.8%. Uh, this infamous coin crashed uh, here on the 11th. Uh, pretty much going down to zero and worth nothing after being worth over a hundred dollars just days before and now we are trying to figure out what exactly went wrong nobody exactly knows but it's this uh, the lead executive do Kwan to blame just we have to see what exactly went wrong here so court documents reveal do Kwan dissolved terraform labs korea days before the luna crash so uh, a revolutionary discovery of legal documents could provide greater context for the catalyst of the infamous luna and ust price crash the dramatic story of the terra luna crash um, referred to by some as the layman brothers of crypto has taken yet another remarkable turn as legal documents reveal the liquidation of two south korean offices uh, and, the, uh, and the dissolution of the terraform labs korea corporation in the days preceding the dual currency collapse uh, initially reported by south korean news outlet digital today the information obtained from the uh, country's supreme court registry office highlight that do Kwan successfully instigated the liquidation of two branches and an entire company both the busan headquarters and the so uh, seoul offices were slated for this uh, dissolution during a general shareholders meeting on april 30th with their demise being a action on may 4th and may 6th respectively the timing of these decisions has raised suspicions within the crypto community due to uh, due to their potential correlation uh, to the events compromising the financial obliteration of the Terra Luna and UST stablecoin during the early hours of May 10th. Terra is currently in the process of actioning a revival plan based upon the Second Amendment of the government's proposal 1623. If approved, it will enact three revisions to the current system increase the genesis liquidity from 15 to 30 percent to mitigate future inflationary pressures implement a novel liquidity profile for pre-attack luna holders and decrease funds to post-attack usd holders in the proposition paper quan wrote that the usd peg failure is terra's dao hack moment a chance to rise up anew from the ashes with a network launch slated for may 27th so that is exactly uh, it's not been a surprise if you're an insider uh, in, uh, or developer for Terra. It looks like the uh, main CEO Do Kwan knew from the start what was about to happen for uh, Luna and he subsequently uh, liquidated uh, his assets. As we can see Terra is uh, currently at three zeros. It looks like it's gonna be adding another zero very soon. And I don't think there is any chance for recovery here. This coin is dead, dead in the water right now and probably forever. Uh, there are uh, rumors that it could bounce back uh, here. They have a plan for a somewhat of a Luna V2, but I have little hope in that. Uh, I have little faith that that will actually recover the value of the coin. So that's it for today's news, guys. Come back tomorrow.